What is the top few things that people are getting citations for in the pecan Speeding is definitely a number one. Okay. If somebody gets a ticket in pecan and they want to appeal it, what, what's the process? Yeah, if you get a citation, it's not there the wall. Today is a gloomy, rainy January day in Pecan Plantation. I think we're gonna have a ton of rain today. I'm Rebecca Van Buren. I'm a licensed real estate broker here in the great state of Texas. I live and I work in Pecan Plantation. And today we are gonna go for a ride along with our security director, Harold. So stay tuned. So Harold, how long have you been here and what is your background? I've been here since 2018. I'm former law enforcement of nine years. Uh, three of those was in undercover narcotics, but then I transitioned over to the private sector and I, uh, I became a corporate investigator for Southwest Airlines. So I, I had the uh, fortunate opportunity to work directly with Herb Kelleher Aww. and Colleen Barrett, who founded the airline. Yeah. My most notable investigation for them was uh, a ticketing fraud scheme that resulted in over $1 million restitution and 10 federal indictments. Whoa. And then I got tired of flying. I got grasses greener syndrome and I chose another uh, opportunity with Tom Ward Cable. I think uh, we are very, very uh, blessed to have you here. Well, thank you very much. I, I, I like being here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Harold, what on earth is this that we're looking at? So that's radar. And the top row of digits that you see there, that's for the front antenna. Oh! Which is mounted over here. Okay, so that's the person in front of us is going 20 and the person behind us is going 33? Is that's that correct. What you're okay. Yes. So when these guys are out here doing radar, um, they're trained to observe the speed. Let's just say you live on a 25 mile an hour road. Given period of time, you get used to what 25 mile an hour looks like. And you can differentiate between another car that's coming at you at 35, 40 miles an hour, you know the difference. So when they're out here shooting radar, they'll first make an observation that the vehicle appears that it's, it's going faster. Um, then they'll use the radar, lock the speed to confirm their observations that they're in fact speeding. It's crazy out here because the speed limit is 25 out miles an hour unless posted otherwise. That's so correct. We got 25 here, 35 here, 25 here, 35 here. So and you know, I, I, and I've heard the argument about 30 mile an hour universal speed. I'm not opposed to it, but I know from personal experience, regardless of what you change that speed to, people are going to adapt. We're still going to ride those citations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what is the top few things that people are getting citations for in the complementation? Speeding is def definitely a number one. Okay. Um, inattentiveness. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you have the, the straight shots. We have we have long straightaways on this roadway. It's easy to pick up speed, so they're not really monitoring their speed. Yeah. And they need to. We've got narrow roads with their shared by cyclists. I'm a cyclist. They've got uh, uh, people, people walk, walking their dogs. People walking their dogs, especially early in the morning. Yeah. Um, and a lot of that traffic's also contractors. Um, so you know, as you mentioned. When you come into the gate, there's signs at each gate that the, the speed limit is uh, 25 miles an hour or less otherwise posted. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to keep up with which one is if you're not paying attention and if you're, if you're new in this area too. I it think. is, I mean, 25 is always safe. Yeah. But you know, some of the other things that, that our officers will uh, handle are your stop sign violations. There's quite a, quite a few of those. The majority of the people out here are great people. You couldn't ask for a better group of people. 100%. All we're doing is making sure that this is a safe community. Yeah. So how many road or how many miles of road do you guys uh, protect? We've got about 60 miles of roadway. 60 miles. Yeah. You know, I'd also like to add too that our security officers, a lot of them are members themselves out here in the community. Absolutely. Uh, so they have a vested interest mm -hmm. to make their community better yeah. and um, I really like to hire members uh, just because of that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's an investment. They're not only their members or their family members could be members. That's correct. You know, so, so what is a typical day like for uh, a security officer? They come to work and then they what they jump in here and just start doing patrol? They'll do patrol, but it's also mixed in with some of the other duties. They'll do the building checks for the PPOA. They'll make sure that the buildings are secure. There's no vandalism. Uh, if there is, they'll report those. Uh, we help Daniel's group um, mm -hmm. with Roads and Grounds. We'll report uh, problems 
um, such as you know leaks, um, outages with lights. Uh, we'll help him out and, and send in repair requests. What about with um, EMS? I know y'all play a strong role. You're like our first responders, right? We are. We're often we're often the first on the scene. Um, and sometimes we can mitigate issues as EMS gets there. Uh, we help them quite a bit with uh, uh, traffic control as they're doing the important task of transporting patients. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll make sure that the gate arms are open so they can have uh, free passage without having to abruptly stop while, while they're carrying the patient. But all in all, I do think that uh, compared to the Metroplex, this is by far a fantastic community full of fantastic people. Um, but I'm so thankful that we do have security. I think y'all are underappreciated and uh, I don't think yet yeah, that a lot of people know what, what y'all do all day. We appreciate that. And we want to keep the community that way. So we try to, you know, come up with uh, a, a lot of tools and things to, to help with that. Um, yeah. You know, we're one of the first in the state to have electronic patrol. Um, so, I don't know what that means. Well, these guys carry iPads and it's also GPS linked so I can keep track of where they are on the property, um, can keep track of their speed, make sure that they're in compliance. Uh, they are allowed to go slightly over the speed limit on an emergency type of situation and we do have those, but yeah. they, they know that they're to travel at a, a, a safe manner. Um, but this is also tied into uh, reporting. They'll do incident reports on things that happen on the property. Um, any citations it's issued. Um, so how that benefits us is that we can quickly cross-reference all of this information and hand it over to law enforcement if needed. Law enforcement has benefited from um, working cases. Um, but on any given day, how many patrol officers are patrolling the plantation generally well fortunately we have a great general manager that that supports us he's at, he understands uh the need for security the importance of it absolutely and uh we were finally able to uh to get budget for two security officers per each shift um there was only two yes security yes, officers yeah, we need more and i'm going to keep pushing for more on any given day to to drive through this whole community? Yes. Wow. Yes. So I've got them divided up into sectors. I've got the north zone and I've got the south zone. Uh, and that that helps us quite a bit with the efficiency and the timeliness of their response uh, with the calls. Because the south zone person is handling all calls and incidents that happen on the south and vice versa for the north. Um, I just love that you know the difference between north and south. I have no idea. <laughs> People are always asking me. Every time I show property, they're like, which way is east? Which way is west? And I'm like, I've lived here 21 years. I don't know. I got an app, a compass app, so I can figure out which way is east and which way well, is hey, west. In, in early days, law enforcement, we had trouble with that. And the guys used to call out restaurants that were passing. <laughs> yeah. I'm exactly. in a pursuit and I'm passing a Burger King. And, <laughs> yeah. I need a point of reference. Thank you. That's, that's helpful for me. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any misconceptions that people have about our security personnel that you want to clear up? Yeah, we're not out here collecting revenue for speed traps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I heard that law enforcement was well, just just speed trap. The best way to get out of a speed trap? Don't speed. It, don't speed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to quit doing what we're doing or yeah. camping in the same spot. That's that's an O. Where do you think those speeders are going to go? So it's, you know, it, it can be frustrating. But, you know, again, we're here to, to maintain the safety because I can tell you before I got here, there was a good enforcement yeah. on, on traffic and speed. And it looked like an Audubon. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, over it's taken a couple of years, but we've seen those speeds trend downward. Yeah. And we typically don't have repeat violators. Um, yeah, because like, these tickets are like a hundred bucks, yeah, aren't they? Like I said, you get a citation, you pay attention. Yeah, but I do love that everybody, all of our security guys have uh, cameras on, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, so, and and unfortunately, people lie. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, some of these appeals will go to the appeal committee, and we're often told how rude the security officer was, and video doesn't lie. Yeah. Um, and I think that's that's something important that we added as well. Yeah, I love that. I remember. Um, I haven't been on the security committee in years, but when I did, it was before we had the appeal process. And I'd love whenever uh, someone would 
get a ticket and then they'd come in there and they're like, I was so mean to me and blah, 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 blah. And then you would go, okay, let's roll the film. And we're just all sitting there watching how nice that guy was. Right. Yeah. So that's always fun. But what is, so what is the process to appeal a ticket? If you, if you get a ticket and you feel like, you know, I love, I love the ones we used to have when I was on security of the rolling stop. Remember they would come in there yes. and they were like, we got a ticket for a rolling stop. And we'd be like, if you're rolling, that's not stopping. That's not stopping. Yeah. Right. So if somebody gets a ticket in Pecan and they want to appeal it, what what's the process? Yeah, if you get a citation, it's not the end of the world. Um, you've got 30 days to pay the citation, but you got 15 days to appeal. Um, so you can show up and present your appeal to the appeals committee members as they, they meet monthly. Um, and if you don't wish to show up, you can write an email detailing why you feel the ticket was inappropriate. Okay. Um, and those committee members who are members of the community will weigh in on it. Once we write the citation, it's out of our hands. Okay. Uh, we've done our job by enforcing the rules. And that's what it is, is rules, it's not laws. So um, you know, it's not gonna impact your insurance. Right. We're not, not getting these over to the county or the state of Texas. It's not right. going on your record. It's an, H it's an HOA violation, but if you don't pay it, the consequences are it's going to stack up on your property, uh, meaning you're going to have to you're sell your eventually. property, you're going to have to pay it, you're eventually going to have to pay it. Got it. Um, but it'll go to the appeals committee, and if you don't like the outcome of the appeals committee, you can appeal to the board. You've got five days to appeal to the board, and the board can decide if you know the citation is going to be upheld from the appeals committee, reduced, if there's any other any number of things that they could do yeah um but like i said you know once that citation is issued it's out of our hands we've done our job and we abide by the appeal or the um uh, board we may not always agree with it yeah. but we've done our job yeah i know we have a lot of uh, ups and downs here as any homeowners association does but um i just truly think that uh, our security professional are are a bunch of, it's a great team and they're just totally unappreciated. You know, I think all, all law enforcement are just varying degrees of wrong is how people feel. And, uh, and so I think Well, thank you very much. And we certainly enjoy serving this community. Well, I appreciate your time today. And so uh, thank you for uh, taking me on a ride along on this gloomy, wet, rainy <laughs> January day in Pecan Plantation. And stay tuned, let's see what video comes up next.